This is the Frey EX Pro, which I've just received two days ago, taking out for the first time off-road today. There are a lot of lame videos of this bike showing it going along on the flat and on roads, but not much about it going off-road. So let's show it on some trails to show you what it's supposed to do. This is not a road bike. This is a 64 degree head tube angle Enduro EMTB, which is 1600 watts of power and 160 Newton meters of torque from the Bafang Ultra Mid-Drive motor. Pedal assistance max, sport mode, of course. Let's try it with a bit of throttle. Amazing. <laughs> Let's see what's over these rigs. That is insane. Woo! <laughs> Oh my god. Jump here. And push it down here. That's a world point something. Whoa! <laughs> that is mine. Oh, that's so good, no pedalling at all. <laughs> oh my god. That is so good. <laughs> I can pedal as well. But the throttle goes faster than I can pedal. I can tell you that. I can pedal at 20 miles an hour and the throttle's going 23 miles an hour uphill. That is so good. This bike is really powerful. It's actually mental. But what's it like on really steep? Let's try. It's not going to make any difference having the motor on down here, but I need to see what it's like on natural steep descents like this, which is really steep here. On this off hammer bit, which you have to stay high on. Yeah, it's handling quite well. That's a nice drop here. Yeah, we can manage that. <laughs> Steep. It's hard to tell in videos, I know. Everything looks flat in videos, but I can tell you this isn't flat. But there's no point having this bike if you can't ride downhill on it, in my book. But I dare not tell any further. <laughs> Maybe a bit here. Oh. Oh. Definitely launch or jump better with it. I'll tell you that. It's actually fine. I thought the weight was going to be horrendous. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Unless you fall on it. Or it falls on you rather. Okay. That's pretty sick. No problem at all then on steep, natural, tight downhill trails. All right, this is a really steep uphill, okay? When I say steep, it's not a flight of stairs steep, but it's about 30 degree, when a flight of stairs is about 45. I'd say this is about 30, 35. Now look at it. 15 miles an hour, no pedaling. Change down in gear. Engage the throttle again. Add a little bit of pedaling perhaps. Or I can just pedal if I want completely. 
But why pedal when you can just push a button? <laughs> Leveling out now. Change your gear again. Get more speed. Change your gear again. Just like riding motorbike, bike, really. Very steep now. Again. Maybe about 30, 30 degrees, 35 degrees again. No pedaling. Hi, thank you. Uh, 1600, what? But you can just take that off. And then it, then it looks like a normal e-bike then now, yeah. with the, with the built-in battery. But with this on, it looks a beast like. Yeah. Keep that, that's the old How long will that get, get going on? Well, I, I've, just, I've done about five <laughs> runs down here since I've been here, and it was on 76% when I came here. It's now on 33%. Not even blowing that. Each, each, time, each time I've used the throttle to get all the way back up. <laughs> I just want to see how, how much it can, yeah, yeah. how far it can go with basically just the throttle, just to drain it and see how long it lasts. What does that mean? You're not pedaling? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. This bike is officially the nuts. This is a revolution. And that's a wrap. I'm gonna leave it at 21%, I think. So, my verdict on the Frey EX Pro is that it was basically one of the most exhilarating mountain bike experiences I've ever had. And that was just on my local single track downhill trails. And now that I know it can handle tight UK kind of downhill trails, I can't wait to get to the Forest of Dean to try it out there. Maybe even Bike Park Wales and other downhill trails. So uh, yeah, I'll probably be making some more videos. Enjoy.